So this is called a four screw secondary holder. It has three screws that hold the secondary and there is a fourth screw on the side here which is labeled for disassembly. These are Bob's knobs. I purchased them including shipping for about $27 um, and these ones are specifically for my Mead 12 inch telescope. It's an F10 telescope. Um, and it has the three factory secondary screws, and then there's a fourth screw on the side that's holding it together. So what do you get for your money? Three knobs. And I get also three washers, although not every kit comes with those. And as a nice touch, they gave me the Allen wrench, which I presume is the right size for unscrewing the factory knobs. Um, and these guys here have a little projection, and the directions say you should put that projection away from the knob when you install them. Um, and so the idea is you replace your factory screws for your collimation of your secondary mirror with these guys, and then you can collimate by hand just by twisting them. And all these are, they're just mach machine screws with a plastic knob um, pressed fit onto the end of them. Um, and so these are specifically the right length for my particular telescope. You're supposed to have your telescope tube pointing down so that if you accidentally unscrew all three of those screws and your secondary falls into the tube there, um, it doesn't land on your mirror. Now, I have mine up on a wedge and I'm not gonna take it off of the wedge for this procedure. Um, so I'm just going to be careful and only unscrew one screw at a time, which the instructions also tell you that you need to replace each screw one at a time with the knob so that there's always two screws holding the secondary mirror in place. All right, we're going to start with this screw here. Now they say to tighten all of these knobs um, before you loosen any of them. And that's just in case some of them are already loose. You want your secondary mirror to be held in place well. Um, all three of mine are already quite tight, so that's already good and ready to go. And now we just pull one all the way out and replace it one at a time. So three or four turns and it got very easy. I'm now unscrewing quickly, and I do want to be careful not to drop this screw onto the glass here. And it feels like it's detached. Yeah, it is. So this is the original screw here. It has a flat base and kind of a, a rounded pan head, and there's a place where it dips into this thing here. So the Bob's knob has that little plastic washer with the projection. My suspicion is that washer goes into that hole there. Um, and if you look at the length of these guys here, um, the length of this screw, not counting the washer, is basically exactly the same there. So I'm going to turn it backwards until the threads catch and then go forwards and I feel it hitting the threads there. It's getting a little tighter than I would have liked so I'm going to back it out again and try again. Alright, so that feels like it's in there pretty well. Now there is a small gap between the screw here and the inside. I'm not sure if that gap is supposed to be there. So right here it looks like there's maybe a millimeter gap between the base of this plastic knob and the top of that washer there. And so I can move that washer in and out but it is tightened several turns into threading and it feels like it's in there. All right, we're gonna continue with the other two. Another reason to point this down is it'll make getting the screws out easier. Okay, that one, I clicked it backwards, and now it's turning a lot. 
and it, when I pulled it in, this guy pulled in as well. So it looks like, well, I don't really have extra room on that one, but this screw isn't quite um, as far off as that screw. So now it appears that we have these two screws in. We're going to go with this guy here now. Maybe when I'm done, they'll all three line up correctly. So that did not feel to be very tight at all. So apparently when I did, so yeah, the, the, you can feel the secondary wiggling inside now when I loosen this one. So I'm tightening that guy up a little bit. Because I fear it's better to be tighter than not. Okay, so these guys are not wiggling anymore. That guy was just a little bit tight. Now it's easy to get out. Alright, I'm turning it backwards until I hear the click of the threads meshing. So right there, and then I can go forwards. I'm getting several turns there. Okay. I believe they're all tightened. All right, so they're all tightened. They're holding the secondary mirror in place. Now I must recollimate at this point, um, but it should be a lot easier because I can just twist these knobs by hand. Obviously these knobs stick out more than those screws, so I may or may not be able to get my metal optical tube cover over the end of this. So I'm gonna have to try the lens cover and see if it still fits without hitting those knobs. So that definitely goes on. It wiggles back and forth and a little bit up and down. So it's definitely touching the knobs in the center. And the instructions say, hey, you can bow this guy out, you know, kind of just bang on it, essentially. They used nicer words than that, but they said you, you can bend this out a bit. All right, so that replacement process is super simple. Um, it does have a potential downside that your cover may touch the knobs as opposed to going all the way flat, um, although it still stayed on for me with no problems. And it'll have the benefit of hopefully making it much easier to collimate your telescope. So their instructions say, attach the dust cover, check its fit. If your metal dust cover contacts the knobs, remove the cover, press on its center from the inside to contour it slightly for better clearance. If you need additional clearance, let us know and we will send you a free set of dust cover spacers. Um, I don't think I need dust cover spacers, although I might press on the center a little bit. And then they have instructions for recollimating. So this dust cover, at a 12 inch dust cover, definitely has some flexibility in there. And I was basically just able to push on this with my hands and kind of deflect the outside out. And it was bowed in a little bit, and now it is definitely bowed out a little bit. Um, and so I believe that might be plenty, so it may not even contact the knobs when I put this guy back on. Yeah, now there's no wobbling whatsoever there. So it fits under my dust cover as long as it's bowed outwards. I'm not sure if the bow is really visible, but it is slightly bowed out. I can feel the, the outward bow there. All right, tonight I will recollimate this guy. So if you took your own screws out, you could definitely find machine screws that would fit. You could probably find knobs that would fit over the end. The hard part would be sourcing those little washers that perfectly fit the indentations that are in here with the projection on them. Um, you know, trying to find all of those things and order them, I don't think you could do that for less than the $27 I paid here. So I think it's a pretty good value just to get a kit of all the parts you need to do this swap out. 